Choo Choo and Friends in Story Time. Cha-Cha was terrified of doctors. He would always fuss when he had to visit one. But Cha-Cha, it's only a checkup. Please, Mom. I don't want to go to the doctor. Please. One day, Chacha's mother remembered that it was time for Chacha to get a vaccination. It was a very important medicine that would help Chacha stay healthy. So, Chacha's mother wanted Chacha to visit the doctor. But she knew that Chacha would fuss. So, she went to talk to Miss Dorothy, Chacha's favorite teacher. I need your help. Cha-Cha has to get a vaccination, but he's afraid of the doctor. Don't worry. We can help Cha-Cha get over his fear. Later that day, Miss Dorothy went to Chacha's class. Children, have any of you ever been ill? Put up your hands if you have. Many children put their hands up. Cha-Cha put his hand up, too. Did you like being ill, Cha-Cha? No, Miss Dorothy, I didn't. Tell us why, Cha-Cha. Because I couldn't play when I was ill. I couldn't come to school either. I had to swallow some pills that tasted very bitter. It was terrible, Miss Dorothy. I didn't like being ill at all. Then you must get vaccinated, Cha-Cha. Huh? What's that, Miss Dorothy? Miss Dorothy then asked the class if they knew what a vaccination was. Children, do any of you know what a vaccination is? Chiku put her hand up. I know what a vaccination is, Miss Dorothy. It's a shot that the doctor gives you. It stops the germs that enter your body from making you sick. Miss Dorothy was very happy with Chiku's answer. That's correct, Chiku. Now tell me, children, have any of you ever had a vaccination shot and how did it feel? Chica put his hand up this time. I've had lots of vaccinations, Miss Dorothy, and they all felt like ant bites. Huh? Like ant bites? (laughs) 
Yes, Cha-Cha. The doctor was very gentle. So the shot didn't hurt at all. The doctor also told me jokes <laughs> and gave me goodies. I felt very silly when I met him because I'd been afraid of him for no reason at all. Really? Miss Dorothy then spoke to Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha, I hope you won't be afraid of the doctor. And I hope you remember a vaccination shot is just like an ant bite. When Cha-Cha went home that day, he surprised his mother. Mom, guess what? I'm no longer afraid of the doctor or getting a vaccination shot. I'm very happy to hear that, Cha-Cha. Later that day, Chacha's mother took him to the doctor. He was a very friendly man, and Chacha liked him immediately. Hi, Chacha. Are you ready for your shot? Or do you want to play a game first? I'm ready for my shot, doctor. Let's play the game later. And so the doctor gave Chacha the shot. The doctor then gave Chacha a gift. It was a book of puzzles. This is for you, Chacha. Thank you, doctor. I have something for you, too. Chacha then surprised the doctor. He gave him a card that he had made. I made this for you to say Thank you for taking such good care of me. Thank you, Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha's mother was very happy. Cha-Cha was no longer afraid of visiting the doctor. And now that Cha-Cha had his vaccination shot, he wouldn't get ill. And he would stay very healthy. <laughs> was a good boy, but he was very lazy when it came to doing his homework. Oh, homework is so boring. Maybe I'll play now and do my homework later. Chica always made excuses when his mother asked him to finish his homework. Chica, please finish your homework. You only have a few problems left. I'll do it later, Mom. I'm really tired now. Chica even made up stories when his teacher asked him to see his homework. Chica, please show me your homework. Uh, uh, my dog ate it, Miss Dorothy. Chica's mother met Miss Dorothy one day. She was Chica's favorite teacher. Chica never does his homework, Miss Dorothy no matter how many times I tell him. I have an idea. We'll do something to make sure Chica always does his homework going forward. Miss Dorothy gave the children homework that day. Children, 
Please be sure to finish your homework today. It's very important. I'll be checking it tomorrow. Yes, Miss Dorothy. But even after Miss Dorothy reminded him, Chica didn't do his homework that day. La 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 la. The next day, Miss Dorothy made an announcement to the class. Children, I have a surprise for you. The principal has invited you all to visit the school garden. The school garden? Yes, and you will all learn to be gardeners. get special hats and tools and have a chance to do some real gardening. Hooray! The children were excited, especially Chica. He couldn't wait to go to the garden. Gardening was one of his favorite things to do. What time are we going to the garden, Miss Dorothy? Right after I check everyone's homework. The principal said she will only take the children who have completed their homework to visit the garden. So children, please show me your homework. Huh? Chiku and the other children showed Miss Dorothy their homework. finished my homework, Miss Dorothy. So have we. But Chica hadn't done his homework. Oh. Uh, huh. And so, Chica was the only one who wasn't allowed to go to the garden. I'd like to be a gardener too, Miss Dorothy. If you do your homework today, Chica, we can all go back to the garden tomorrow. That evening, Chica did his homework on his own. His mother didn't even have to remind him once. The next day, Chica immediately showed his homework to Miss Dorothy. I've done my homework, Miss Dorothy. Great work, Chica. Today, you too will get to be a gardener. Hooray! Miss Dorothy took the class to the garden again. And this time, Chica got a hat and tools as well. And he had fun gardening with all his friends. Hooray! From that day on, Chica did his homework on his own every day. And both Miss Dorothy and Chica's mother felt very proud of him. Cha-Cha's father had a box. It was full of tools. The tools could fix anything. And so, Cha-Cha called it Daddy's Magic Box. That's Daddy's Magic Box. One day, Grandpa's glasses broke. We'll fix them with his magic box. Cha-Cha's father opened his box and pulled out a tool called a screwdriver. Using it, he quickly fixed the glasses. Ah! Hooray for Daddy! 
Hooray for Daddy's magic box! A little while later, the kitchen sink started leaking. Is leaking, and we're wasting water. Don't worry, Mom. I'll call Daddy. He'll get his magic box. Cha Cha's father opened his box. He took out a tool called a wrench. And in no time, he fixed the sink leak. Hooray! Daddy fixed the sink leak with his magic box. Choo Choo had made a pretty picture and she wanted to hang it on the wall. Cha-Cha, I want to hang this picture. Daddy will help you, Choo-Choo, with his magic box. So, Choo-Choo and Cha-Cha's father came to help. He brought his box. He picked up a tool called a drill. And he used it to make a hole in the wall. He then hammered a nail into the wall. You can now hang your picture, Choo Choo. Thank you, Daddy. Hooray for Daddy. I want to be like him and do things with the magic box. Cha-Cha felt very proud of his father. He wished he could be like him. And one day, he had the chance to be just like him. Cha-Cha's grandmother was sewing. Suddenly, she dropped her needle. Oh, dear. My needle has fallen down. I can't spot it anywhere. Don't worry, Grandma. I'll help you. Cha-Cha ran to his father. Daddy, may I borrow your magic box? I want to find Grandma's needle. Sure, Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha opened the box. He pulled out a flashlight and shined it on the floor. Yay! <laughs> and in no time, he spotted the needle. Ah! There it is! Cha-Cha then pulled out a tool called a magnet. He used it to pick the needle up. Here's your needle, Grandma. Thank you, Cha-Cha. I'm very proud of you. You're just like your daddy today. <laughs> Cha-Cha felt very proud of himself. He finally had the chance to use the magic box and be just like his father. Oh. 
Choo Choo and Cha Cha were always very polite. They always spoke kindly to the workers in the house. Good morning! Good morning, kids! Thank you for making our garden so beautiful! You are welcome! But Kasli was always very rude. Huh? Hey, you! Get out of my way! Huh? Huh? Ew! You're so stinky! Huh? Huh? Leave the garden! Now! Huh? Huh? Ew! This soup tastes awful! You're a terrible, terrible cook! Huh? Huh? Kusli's mother was very disappointed in him. She wanted him to be polite and kind and respect everyone. So, one day, she asked the janitor, the garbage collector, the gardener, and the cook not to come to work. Please, take a holiday for a few days. Don't come to work. I want Cusley to learn how important and helpful you all are. Yeah. The next day, Cusley found that the house was very dirty. Ew! Ugh! There's so much garbage lying around. Where is Steven? Why hasn't he picked it up? Cusley, Stephen won't be coming anymore. You will have to clean the house on your own. Huh? And so, Cusley had to clean up his own mess. The hard work made Cusley very hungry. He sat at the table and asked for lunch. I'm very hungry. Andy, get me my lunch. I'm sorry, Cusley, but Andy won't be coming anymore. You'll have to make your own lunch. What? So, Cusley had to make his own lunch. And when Cusley went to throw the garbage out, he found that the garbage can was already completely full and that it was making everything very stinky. Ew! Where is Sandy? Why hasn't he emptied the garbage can? There's so much garbage in it. It's making everything very stinky. Sandy won't be coming anymore, Cusley. From now on, You'll have to empty the garbage on your own. Huh? And so, Cusley had to empty the garbage can on his own. Ew! This garbage is making me so stinky! Cusley then went to the garden to get some fresh air. But he found that the flowers were drooping and that there were weeds growing all over. Huh? What's happened to the garden? Flowers are drooping. And there are weeds growing everywhere. I'm sorry, Cusley. But Julian won't be coming anymore. 
you'll have to take the weeds out and water the plants yourself. Huh? And so, Cusley had to look after the garden on his own. they come today? When will they be back? Cusley, don't you remember? You were very rude to them all. They work very hard for us. I don't think they'll come back unless you decide to be polite. Huh? Cusley's mother then helped him to see how hard everyone worked. All these people work so hard for us, Cusley. But you've never cared about them or had a kind word for them. I'm sorry, Mom. I now understand how hard they work. I promise I'll be polite and kind and show them that I care. Please ask them to come back. Hmm. Later that day, Cusley spent his time writing thank you notes. The next morning, Cusley went out with his mother and bought flowers and gifts. And the next day, when Stephen, Julian, Sandy, and Andy came to the house, Cusley spoke to them very politely. is for you! Thank you for keeping my house clean! Thank you, Cusley! This is for you, Julian! I know that you work very hard to make the garden beautiful! Thank you! Sandy! You are very important! Thank you for taking the garbage away! delicious food you make. And I'm sorry that I was rude to you all. It's okay, Cusley. After that day, Cusley always spoke politely and kindly to all of the workers. His manners made everyone happy. Yummy! And Cusley's mother felt very proud of him. was a very particular kid. He didn't like wearing colors. He only liked wearing black t-shirts and his favorite blue jeans. This yellow t-shirt would look good on you, Cusley. No, Mom! I don't like yellow! What about this green one? Or this red one? No, Mom! I don't like green or red! Cusley's mother was very disappointed. She wanted Cusley to at least wear some colors. Cusley, why don't you wear some other colors for a change? I don't like any other colors, Mom. I only like black and blue. And so... Cusley wore black and blue almost every day. One day, Miss Dorothy, Cusley's teacher, brought a color wheel to class. This is a color wheel, children. It has many different colors. They are all bright and beautiful. And they also have special meanings. I'm going to spin the wheel, and when it stops, I'll tell you more about the color that's next to you. 
Choo Choo was the first to stand near the color wheel. Miss Dorothy spun the wheel. The wheel went around and around, and when it stopped, the color red was next to Choo Choo. I'm standing next to red. Red is a bright and beautiful color. So many things we like are red. Like apples, cherries, and strawberries. Red also stands for love. Is that true, Miss Dorothy? No wonder I feel so loving when I wear red. Huh? Next, Cha-Cha took his turn at the color wheel. Miss Dorothy spun it around again. And when the wheel stopped, the yellow was next to Cha-Cha. Yellow! Yellow is a cheerful color. So many things we like are yellow. Like sunflowers, bananas, and buttercups. Yellow stands for happiness and hope. I always feel cheerful when I wear yellow. Huh? Then, Chiku took her turn at the color wheel. And Miss Dorothy spun it around. When it stopped, the green was next to Chiku. Green! Green is a lovely color. So many things we like are green. Like grass and leaves. Vegetables like peas and broccoli are green too. Green stands for growth and friendship. I always feel like smiling when I wear green. <laughs> huh? Now it was Chica's turn. So Miss Dorothy spun the color wheel again. When it stopped, the orange was next to Chica. Orange! Orange is a warm and wonderful color. So many things we like are orange. Like the sun, oranges, and pumpkins. Orange stands for warmth and joy. I feel happy when I dress in orange. Huh? Then, Miss Dorothy spun the wheel again. Cusley was standing near it this time. And when the wheel stopped, the white was next to Cusley. White? White is a charming color. So many things we like are white, like snow, doves, and the cottony clouds in the sky. White stands for goodness. I always feel kind when I wear white. Huh? When Cusley went home that day, his mother had his black and blue clothes ready. Cusley, please change your clothes. I've set out your favorite ones. Thanks, Mom. But I'd like to wear some other colors today. Other colors? Yes, Mom. Miss Dorothy told us how special all the colors are. So I want to wear them all now. <laughs> That's wonderful, Cusley. Cusley learned how special all the colors are. And so he started wearing them all. Hooray! And he found out that wearing them made him feel special, too.
one day, all of the mothers went together to meet Miss Dorothy, their children's teacher. Miss Dorothy, Cusley doesn't like eating fruits and vegetables. He always fusses when I serve them. Choo Choo and Cha Cha are the same way. And Chica and Chiku too. Oh dear! Fruits and vegetables are very important. The children need them to grow. I have an idea. Let's try something that will help the children learn to like fruits and vegetables. Miss Dorothy made an announcement in the classroom that day. Children, everyone needs to bring some fruits or vegetables with you tomorrow. The children listen to Miss Dorothy, and they all brought fruits and vegetables to school the next day. I brought an apple, Miss Dorothy. <laughs> That's great, Choo Choo. Now let's have some fun with your apple. Miss Dorothy then carefully carved the apple and turned it into a beautiful swan. The children got very excited. This apple is now a swan. Hooray! Chica had brought a mango. He gave it to Miss Dorothy. Miss Dorothy turned Chica's mango into a beautiful goldfish. Hooray! Cusley brought some fruits too. Bananas, kiwis, and grapes. Miss Dorothy took Cusley's fruits. And she turned them into a beautiful tree. Oh, look! This tree has a banana trunk, kiwi leaves, and grapes as its fruit. Chiku brought a zucchini. She gave it to Miss Dorothy. Here's my zucchini. Miss Dorothy turned Chiku's zucchini into a friendly caterpillar. Cha-Cha brought an orange. He gave it to Miss Dorothy. Here's my orange. Miss Dorothy turned Cha Cha's orange into a snail. Hooray! Then Miss Dorothy invited all the kids to eat the fruits and vegetables. Children, we've had a lot of fun with your fruits and vegetables. Now you must eat them. And have even more fun. The children ate the fruits and vegetables, which made them feel very lively. Mmm, <laughs> yummy! Delicious. Miss Dorothy then told the children more about fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are very good for you. They are full of vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients that make you strong and healthy. So, you must eat them every day. That evening, 
all the children surprised their mothers. Mom, can I have some fruits and vegetables? Me too! the mothers were very happy. Miss Dorothy's idea had worked. And all the children now enjoyed eating fruits and vegetables. Choo-Choo and her friends loved going to school. They loved all of their friends and their teachers, too. Hi, Miss Dorothy. Hello, Choo-Choo. Miss Dorothy was Choo-Choo's favorite teacher. She was always telling her students to be kind, to share, and care. Choo-Choo? Can you please share your crayons with Cusley? He forgot to bring his to school. Of course, Miss Dorothy. Thank you, Choo Choo. You're always so kind and helpful. One day, a new boy joined Choo Choo's class. His name was Jacob. Jacob was differently abled. He used a wheelchair to move around. When Jacob entered the classroom, Miss Dorothy reminded everyone to greet him. Children, let's welcome Jacob to our school. I'd like everyone to say hello. Welcome, Jacob. Hello, Jacob! Welcome! Choo-Choo introduced herself to Jacob. Hi, Jacob. I'm Choo-Choo. I'd like to be your friend. Hello, Choo-Choo. I'm very happy to meet you. Choo-Choo liked Jacob immediately. He was cheerful and polite. Soon, it was time for recess. All the children were eager to play. They ran out of the class. Yay! Let's go to the playground! Jacob couldn't walk or run. And so, he slowly followed everyone to the playground using his wheelchair. All the children were having fun playing games. But Choo Choo noticed that Jacob was all by himself. He was watching everyone from afar. Uh-oh! Everyone forgot about Jacob! He's all by himself! I must do something! Choo Choo immediately spoke to her friends. Everybody, listen! Choo Choo asked everyone to play a game that Jacob could play too. She then invited Jacob to join them. Jacob, we're going to play catch. You must play with us too. I can be your partner and help you move around. That sounds like fun. So, everyone started playing the game. Cha Cha threw the ball to Jacob. And Chica helped Jacob get to the ball. <laughs> this is so much fun! <laughs> Jacob was very happy. He laughed and enjoyed himself. Miss Dorothy had been watching the children. She had seen how thoughtful Choo Choo and her friends had been. She walked up to them, smiling. Well done, children! You have all made Jacob feel very comfortable. You are all so kind and caring. 
I'm very proud of you all. Choo Choo and her friends felt happy. They always did their best to make Jacob feel comfortable. Never left him out.